Well, it's that time of year again, and Samsung just released this new line of products. And today, guys, we're gonna talk about one of those products, the Tab S9. Now, this comes in three different sizes that you can use for digital planning, note-taking, productivity. You can use it for email, browsing the internet, even media consumption, as well as game playing. Today, we're gonna to show you how this device can be used for productivity apps, especially in the field of note-taking and journaling. We're gonna show you the S Pen and the new accessory that allows you to write on the screen with a little bit more precision. So if you wanna learn about these accessories, this tablet, and what applications are gonna work best for you, stay tuned. So before we jump into the meat and potatoes of this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the device and some of the accessories and how that's gonna help improve your experience. First off, when I got the device itself, overall unboxing it, looking at it, the form factor, it felt a little more polished, a little smoother, something that I could find myself holding on to a little bit a little more ease than previous editions. I really like the strength and durability of it. The metal casing really adds a lot of strength to it. It makes me feel like it's an industrial product. And as I looked at getting this product, I started to look at some of the other things that it had to offer, such as the S Pen. Now the S Pen is something that we're used to, especially in the tab lineup, and it's one that I've grown very custom to across all my note taking. But what intrigued me about this year was the addition of a screen that allows you to have a paper-like experience. Now, when I first saw this online, I thought to myself, is it just gonna be like a paper-like screen cover that we apply to the actual device? And in my hurry up ordering process, I didn't really dive into the actual accessory and take a peek at it. So to my surprise, when I opened it up and saw like this little like widget with some pins, I'm thinking, well, what, what's going on here? Well, that actually attaches to the device itself and folds over and acts as an actual screen cover. Now, I have to imagine because there is those pins that there is some type of software integration between this cover and the tablet itself. But lo and behold, when I was able to power up this device and start utilizing it, I was really impressed with the little bit more functionality that I had with the writing of it in various applications. Using Samsung uh, Notes application, it actually created a sound feedback that we've seen before, but now it actually felt like there was something there besides just the sound that I was hearing. So utilizing today's applications, we're gonna utilize it with this screen cover on. I can tell you firsthand that if you're going to use this device for any heavy journaling or note taking or daily planning, it's definitely an add-on that you're gonna to wanna to get. You might wanna look at an actual screen um, layover like a paper like screen cover uh, just because then it's permanently there but for somebody that has the ability to quickly throw it on and take it off this does add a matte finish if you then want to take it off and have some type of media consumption or utilize the keyboard that is one thing to note you can't have the keyboard attached at the same time you have this detached so it's kind of one way or the other Granted, I don't see myself in a position where I'm utilizing the keyboard a lot and writing at the same time. I might be poking or playing or tapping on various fields, but I'm never actually writing in a horizontal position. So let's talk about the applications that I recommend. Now, when it comes to note-taking, journaling, it's all about what does your entire ecosystem look like? If you're somebody that wants to be able to synchronize these notes across a Windows, Android, and even an Apple, ecosystem, you don't have a lot of options. Matter of fact, the only option to date is OneNote. Now this application is very universal. Uh, the only downside to it is on an Android based device, the features aren't as prevalent as you would see on a Windows based device or even an Apple based device. And I'm not sure what's the reason behind that, but it still allows you to have those basic note taking features and we'll show you those just in a moment. The other two I wanna show you is PDF based uh, note taking applications or PDF annotation apps is what they're better known for. Now there is a lot of different templates, a lot of different planners out there, a lot of different templates that you can download that are PDFs that you can load into this um, device through one of those apps. 
and a handful of other PDF annotation apps, but these are the two that I recommend, and here's why. When it comes to the Samsung Notes application, and I have a full video on how you can utilize that application, it's in the description, it's up here, or maybe it's here, somewhere up here, or it's gonna be at the end of the video. That's gonna give you a deep dive on how to actually use that application, but it's pretty powerful. It's absolutely amazing. The biggest downfall to it though, it doesn't synchronize across any other devices other than Samsung devices. Now, if you have the Samsung uh, 360 book and you have the new Fold 5 or S23 in this tablet, your ecosystem is Samsung and that works great. But if you're looking for an app that's gonna sync across all Android devices, then you're gonna to wanna to look at Penly. Now, Penly is a great app because it introduces something I think that's really awesome in a PDF annotation world, and that is the ability for you to be able to actually create hyperlinks and be able to tag those into your planner or other aspects of your note taking. So let's go ahead, let's jump into each of these and show you for yourself so you can see which one firsthand is be best for you. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump into OneNote application. Now with OneNote, as we said, the interface is a little bit uh, different than what you would see on other devices, but for the most part, it has all the basic functions. You have the ability to uh, go ahead and type if we had the keyboard enabled. I can go ahead and disable my draw tool here and tap on my finger and spring up a keyboard. If I go back into home at that point, then I'm able to access the different fonts, the type, um, be able to take type measure. And you can go ahead and you can type pretty easily uh, with this device. Now I've noticed with the cover on itself, the typing experience is a little tougher for probably good reason. But if you can just peel that back and type a word, you'll see it does a pretty good job. There's a little bit of sound click feedback there for you guys. But if I go ahead and enable that pencil tool, I have the ability to go ahead and start to take annotations with my S Pen. Now I have the ability to click on here, choose different colors, adjust thicknesses. I can have a couple different presets. I also have the ability to highlight as well as erase and as well as select or using the lasso tool. So how does this work? Well, let's start backwards. Let's just say today is Wednesday the 8th. And because I'm doing this video, I wasn't able to complete my task. I'm gonna take the lasso tool. I'm gonna go ahead and copy those, hit copy. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the next page of my planner, which is the 9th with the lasso tool still enabled, I'm gonna go ahead and click and hit paste, and it's gonna go ahead and put those dates there. So that allows me to have that carryover effect from one day to the next day. When it comes to handwriting, I can go ahead, I can choose my pen, and let's just say, for example, I'm gonna change the destination of our lunch by using the eraser tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and erase that, and we're gonna meet actually at Applebee's. Uh, maybe I wanna make that a little bit thinner, and let's just say I wanna make it orange, I'm just gonna say the location is in Marshfield. Now I can go ahead and I'll use the highlighter tool and highlight that. The other thing that works really good for the lasso tool is being able to come in here and move that. Now, one thing that's really awesome about OneNote that has the ability, if I have in this planning system, I have all these different templates of various pages and different things you can do. We have a section of tiles that you can utilize these different backgrounds that are present uh, throughout our planning system and across all the different tiles. And any time I can come in here and I can tap on one of those and then I can go ahead and hit copy. And if I want to go back to that daily page that I was on, I could paste that tile in here. So that allows you to add additional note pages, different task pages, right to your actual planning page. So the other thing I can do is I can also take these templates Say if I want to have that sermon template that's here, I can click and hold on that and go up here and I can go ahead and create a copy or I can move it to a different segment in my planner. Now what's unique about everything that happens in here, again, it synchronizes across all your different applications. You can go ahead and import different video files, audio files, photo files, and add annotations to those as well. Jumping into Samsung Notes, that PDF annotation app, looks like this. Now what's really cool about PDF annotation apps is the ability to navigate. You saw in OneNote we had like that kind of expanding file look. Well, with PDF annotation apps, we have the ability to have hyperlinks. So if I go into reading mode here, I can go ahead and click on any one of the hyperlinks and get throughout the actual planning system. So I can click on the year at a view here. This gives me an entire look at the year. When I get to August 2nd, I can click on August 2nd 
it'll go there. If I wanna to get to the 10th, I can click on the 10th. I can also go ahead and scroll. Now you can adjust this to go horizontal or vertical if you choose to. But what's really neat about hyperlinks is you really have the ability to navigate throughout the system, uh, if it be a planner or a notebook of any kind and do so. When it comes to note taking and writing, you need to enter in an editing mode or outside of reading mode. And now I have the ability to access my various tools. One of those being uh, the pen tool, which I have the ability to see different pens that are here. Uh, I can go ahead and choose to add favorites. So let's just say I wanted to make a pen. I wanted to make it say red and I wanted to make that there. Maybe I also wanted to go ahead and make a black one, add that to my favorites. If I go in here, now I have two pens. Now let's just say I don't need that red one. I can go to these little dots and hit delete and remove that red one. And now this one here is my favorite pen. Now I can come in here and write a note. And with that writing screen, not only do I have that sound effect, but I also feel like I have a lot better stability and friction and it feels like a paper-like experience. Now I can also choose to highlight that. I can choose to use the eraser. Now what's unique about the eraser is I can go ahead and tap on that eraser and I can erase the entire area or highlight only. So let's just say I want to delete highlight only. I could come in here and I could erase this but it's not affecting any of the actual type that I had. Now I can then turn that off automatically or tap on here and go back to stroke. Now I can also then go back in here and choose my different highlighter tools, different colors, and I'm gonna come back in here and just highlight. Now, one thing I like about highlighting, I like to organize my planner and highlight things based on if it's a work-related item, if it is a meeting, if it's personal. That way, when I look at my calendar, I have a good uh, idea of what kind of balance I have throughout my day when it comes to different work activities as well as personal activities. Now, there's some, a lot of other cool features, as you can see, in Samsung Notes. And if you guys want to see those, definitely encourage you to jump into this video, and you're going to see that, and you're going to see how it also synchronizes with other devices. The last thing I want to show you as far as an app is Penly. And Penly, again, is a unique application. It's an Android application. It works very similar to Samsung Notes in the fact that it's a PDF annotation app that allows you to navigate throughout the system using hyperlinks. Uh, but at the same time, I can go ahead and make annotations. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in to January 2nd. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, just write here uh, meeting. I'm going to change that a little bit to a thinner text. All right, meeting. Now, one thing that I find that's so cool about this particular thing is I can go ahead here and I can create a box. And I'm gonna create a hyperlink. Now it's gonna ask me to link to a page. So I'm gonna hit page link. Now, what is the page number that I'm linking to, which is the important part. So I'm gonna show you this again uh, by going the correct way about it. So first off, I'm gonna go back in here and go into my meetings page. And I'm gonna to go to this page here. I'm gonna write meeting with Tom Bradford. Now, if I tap on page one here, after disabling the pen tool, I'm gonna to see this particular page. This is my meeting page. And anytime I wanna access that page, I can go ahead, click on meetings, click on this one, and it'll take me there. But what I like to do is when I have my planner in front of me, be able to link directly to my meetings. So I can see this is page 637. And just to make this easy, I'm just gonna put Tom in big letters here. We're gonna do this, disable it, and click on 637, go back to that January 2nd date. I'm gonna use this tool here, go across there, click on hyperlink, and put in page link. Remember what that number was? 637. Hit done. Hit okay. Now, if I disable this tool, and let's just say I'm going through my entire calendar, but I wanna go ahead and look at my meeting notes for Tom, I can tap on that. It takes me right there. And that's what really separates Penly from all the other PDF annotation apps, is my ability to start utilizing this planner or any of my notes to be able to link and configure and make my own navigational process throughout the system. You can do that in OneNote too, which is really powerful, but seeing it in a PDF annotation app, this is the only place you can do it with the only app 
that synchronizes across Android devices. The rest of the features are very similar to that you would expect in any PDF annotation app as far as highlighting goes, as far as erasing goes, and you have the ability to add shapes and text and even additional media, so again, photos, files, and so forth. This does have the ability, as well as all the apps that I showed you today, has the ability to cloud backup, which that's what gives it the ability to synchronize across other devices. So that is a look at the new Samsung Tab S9 and some of the different applications that you can use for note taking and journaling. If you wanna learn about our planning system, the Key to Success Planner, go ahead and check out keytosuccessplanner.com and you can learn all about our planner. It works for anyone that's in the personal, professional, or business role. If you're someone that is looking to organize your life or manage your business or help grow your organization, there is a system that is there for you. We have full support, so jump on our site, start a chat with us, and we're there to help you through it. If you guys learned just one thing in this video today, please do me a favor, like the video. If you wanna learn more about different devices and tech regarding note-taking and journaling and how to become more productive with them, go ahead and subscribe to our channel as we cover this and a slew more of information as we move throughout each and every year. Guys, I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key Success Planner, and Lord willing, we'll get to see each other all again in the next video. God bless you, and peace on earth. Oh,